So, day number question mark, question mark? <laughs> but, uh, big project. School bus. Uh, Sony got really, really lucky by buying this one, by finding it on Craigslist from a really, really nice guy in Kentucky who had already ripped the seats out. Because he was going to keep it for himself, and then he decided not to. Well, his wife decided he wasn't. Anyways, great find, Sony. Good job. Stayed with it. It's been your dream for years, and you stuck it out, and looked, and searched, and saved, and did a great job. So I want to congratulate you. And the floor is now free of rust. There's a few minor holes. This bus is in awesome shape. It was driven by the same woman on the same route for 19 years. Uh, we'll do another video and show you the outside, but this is the inside and the floors completely ripped out. Another thing we got really lucky on was there was no old wood floor. It was just linoleum VCT straight down onto the metal. So we've been working on scraping all of that out, sanding chopping off screws and bolts and now today August 12th we are getting ready to bondo a few minor holes and paint the floor with rust-oleum rust inhibiting primer let that dry and this evening hopefully start on framing in the one inch subfloor so more updates to come by the way, this school bus is a 1991 Bluebird. I don't remember all the other numbers, but it runs great. I actually drove it back from Kentucky to Tennessee with no problems whatsoever. And just ran great. And the big, big plus of it being a 91 is that there's no computers. It's pretty simple to work on. We can probably even do some of the work ourselves. Other than the biggest fear of mine, having a flat somewhere on the road. And not being able to lift the tire so anyways first update school bus project coming from the country girls peace out